lovelies! Okay, so I'm doing a video today that I've been really, really excited to do, and it's a review, it's not, it's sort of an unboxing, it's not really an unboxing because they're not in the box anymore, but whatever, we'll call it an unboxing. <laughs> but it's a review on a pair of shoes that I am obsessed with, and um, I'm sorry the box is a bit crushed, my cat is a fat ass and he decided to sit on it, but it's a collaboration with Why Are You and Dolls Kill. Um, that might be enough to like, well no, you'll know from the title what it is, I don't know why I'm being secretive. But if you've uh, followed me on any other social media, you'll already have seen these shoes, and it is these. These are the Ballet Bay, <laughs> Bay? Ballet Bay Platforms. <laughs> um, I've never used that word in my life, but alrighty. And um, they look like these, so I think it's like a six and a quarter inch heel, and it's got this platform on the front. And it is an open toe. I usually really, really don't like open toes. I tend to avoid them where I can, but um, these are so beautiful that I don't even care. And I think it actually kind of works. But the, th the thing I really love, besides like the really big, big heel, is this like lace-up detail on the front. Um, as I said, they're called the ballet ones because they kind of tie around your ankle with the lace uh, with the ribbons. And um, they look a little bit messy here, but I'll still be showing you me, me, you, showing you me wearing them. <laughs> me, you, me, you, me, me in a few minutes, um, but yeah, I just, I absolutely love these. Now, the first time you get them, you go to put them on, they are going to be a pain in the ass, because you can't just slip them on, and, well, maybe if your feet happen to fit perfectly the way they are, but I had to, like, unlace them the whole way down, basically to about, sort of, here-ish, and then put my foot in, and then relace them up to, sort of, fit the way I wanted them to. Uh, they do have a little zip on the back here, and once you have relaced them to properly fit your feet, then after that you can just use the zip. Obviously you're going to have to undo the top ones a little more, slip in, and then just tighten them up, and it's fine. Uh, the only sort of quality complaint I would have with these is this zip is so stiff, and I have like a really hard time, even while I'm not wearing them, getting it up and down. It's like really, really hard, and I'm also afraid I'm going to break it. Like that makes me so nervous because these are quite expensive. Uh, this isn't sponsored in any way. I wish it was because they also co they come in pink, white, and I saw a purple, like a picture of purple ones the other day, but I've never seen them on the website, so I don't know if that's something new they're coming out with. But they definitely come in black, pink, and white, and I also really want the pink ones. Um, so I'm going to be getting those at some point. But generally, they are really good quality. Like that's the one complaint I have is this very stiff zip, and I am just terrified of breaking it by pulling it too hard. But other than that, they're great. Um, in terms of wearing them, I wanted to do this now instead of doing them like the second I doing like the review the second I got them, just because I wanted to see how they were to wear. I've worn them twice now, both on very long days, and um, they are pretty comfortable. Um, they're not super super comfy, but you know, compared to a lot of heels I've worn, they're pretty damn comfortable. I wore them on Valentine's Day, and I was out for... I only attended on wearing them out into town for about an hour, and I thought we were going to come back here and I could get changed, and then we are going out for dinner. But I think I ended up wearing them for like six hours straight, and most of that was walking, and most of it was walking outside with like bumpy ground and stuff, and I was okay for like the first like two or three hours, but it did start to hurt quite a bit after a while. You know, with any heels it's going to be really awkward walking on like cobblestones and cracked bumpy pavements and stuff, so... After a few hours, my feet definitely started to really hurt. Uh, the second time I wore them was down at Irish Creators Day in Dublin, and we were inside Google headquarters all day that day, and that was much easier because, you know, obviously it's nice flat <laughs> indoor sort of surfaces, so I definitely think they're better for either if you're just going out for, you know, an hour, hour or two, or if you're going to be wearing them for a longer day, I think they suit sort of, like, indoor environments better, and, like, places where you go be able to sit down if your feet do get a wee bit sore. But overall, they're definitely pretty comfortable for a heel. Like, they're much more comfortable than the likes of my Jeffrey Campbell Damsels, because I have the Spike Damsels. They're way more comfortable than those. So overall, I was really, really pleased with this. Um, so yeah, these are my current, like, shoe obsession. Like, it's February here, it's freezing. I don't care if my toes get, like, frostbite or whatever. I'm wearing these anyway. They're just amazing. So that's enough of me um, blabbing on. You probably came here to see what they look like worn and see how they are for walking. So I'll put a clip in of that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks guys, hope you enjoyed this. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe because it helps me loads. Bye!